Hi there and welcome to my garden. My name is Tracy and I am a uh, small-scale gardener here on the Saskatchewan prairies in Canada. So my family and I got to enjoy a great weekend up at our cabin in northern Saskatchewan this past weekend. So our favorite thing to do up at our cabin is to go fishing and so we got to do quite a bit of that this past weekend despite the, the hot hot weather we have been having and our favorite way to catch fish is using worms. So um, as a result of that uh, we came home with quite a few containers of these um, night crawlers, Canadian night crawlers. Most of these containers are empty. The worms did not uh, make it home. They ended up uh, in some big fish's belly or um, at the bottom of the lake. So um, after we um, get home from these trips, I always like to, to bring the leftover uh, castings from the containers and any lucky worms that did not end up on a hook are going to, this is so gross. There's one there, I hate holding them. So all these little uh, leftover worms that are quite active are going to be going into my garden. So before I show you how I'm going to add these into my garden and give you a little uh, information on the benefits of why you would like to have worms in your garden, uh, let me just show you some of my uh, fishing adventures from the weekend. So if you've been following me on my channel or just joining me on my channel, um, I am a no-dig uh, type gardener. I do most of my gardening in raised garden beds and containers and also under straw. So there's no rototilling, no um, disturbing of the soil whenever possible. I just always try to add layers of organic material into my containers, my raised garden beds and uh, straw so that um, the nutrients keep breaking down adding um, nutrition to the to the soil so having earthworms or um, night crawlers in my garden is a wonderful thing because they are uh, act as my little plows in the garden so just like a plow earthworms move through the soil of the garden they make tunnels and these tunnels allow air and water to get to the roots of the plants 
as the worms live their life in the soil, they eat organic matter such as dead leaves, grass clippings, and even dirt. And after they digest all these uh, wonderful things that they have eaten, earthworms produce excrement that helps enrich the soil further. So the proper term for their waste or their poop is worm castings. And when it's found in the soil, it helps garden grow because it's rich in phosphorus, calcium, nitrogen, and magnesium. And of course, these are all important nutrients that help our garden plants grow and stay healthy. So if you're not a fisher person like myself and don't have any need to go and buy uh, night crawlers or fishing worms, another way you can um, raise worms for, you know, for, the, for their castings or to try and introduce some of them into your garden is using the Verma hosting system. So this is a bin that I started with red wriggler worms almost two years ago. I still have not quite mastered how to collect the castings out of this too successfully, but I'm not too fussy about that. But you can see what I've been doing here is just feeding them on one side of the bin, trying to get them all to migrate over to this side. So they got some lettuces, bananas, coffee grinds, paper, and it is quite moist. And there are lots of red wrigglers doing their thing over here. So once they've all migrated to one side of the bin, that's when I'd go to this side and try to sift through and, and get the castings out. And I can see that they haven't fully relocated to where all the food is, so I'll just keep working at it. And this is what your finished casting should look like. As you can see, they're nice and dry and beautiful organic matter there to add to your plants. I've been making uh, worm tea from this as well. These uh, worm castings came from my good friend Marsha, who has a gardening channel called White Davy uh, Garden and Worm Farming. And she's an expert on uh, raising uh, red wrigglers, vermicomposting and harvesting. So please, I'll leave her link down below. Please check out her channel. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video on how I use my fishing worms in the garden. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video on my channel. Thank you for watching.